Start by selecting your object and going into edit mode. Select the edges or vertices you want to bevel. Now press Ctrl B and drag your mouse to adjust the width of the bevel. You can also scroll your mouse wheel to increase the number of segments for a smoother bevel. This is the quickest and most direct way to bevel your geometry. For a non-destructive approach, use the bevel modifier. For method 2, we're going to use the bevel modifier, which is a non-destructive way to add bevels to your object. Once you apply the modifier, you'll notice an important setting called the limit method. This determines where the bevel is applied on your mesh. By default, the limit method is set to none, which means the bevel will be applied to all edges. This can lead to messy results, especially on detailed models. Another useful limit method is weight. This gives you full control over which edges should be beveled. Then, in the modifier, change the limit method to weight, and Blender will only bevel the edges with a non-zero weight. This is perfect when you need precise control, especially in complex models. You can assign bevel weight by pressing Ctrl E and selecting edge bevel weight from the menu. Then, simply drag your mouse to adjust the bevel intensity on the selected edges. You can also use the vertex group option, which allows you to assign certain vertices to a group, and the bevel will only affect the connected edges. This is useful for organic models or when you're using other modifiers like armatures that might deform the mesh. If you want to bevel vertices instead of edges, select the vertices in edit mode. Then press Ctrl Shift B and drag to bevel the selected points. This is useful when creating rounded corners or chamfered intersections. If you prefer using tools visually, Head over to the tool shelf on the left and select the bevel tool under the mesh tools section. Click and drag on your selection, and you'll get real-time bevel control with options right in the bottom left of the screen. Perfect for those who like precision and control through UI. This method gives you manual control over the bevel look. Go to edit mode and use loop cut, control R, to add extra geometry near the edges you want to bevel. Then scale or slide those edge loops to mimic the bevel effect. It takes more time but gives you full control over the topology, especially useful for hard surface modeling. This method doesn't modify the geometry of your object but gives the illusion of beveled edges at render time. It only works in the Cycles render engine. To start, switch your render engine to Cycles. Then, select your object and go to the Shader Editor. Create a new material if your object doesn't already have one. Press Shift A, go to Input, and add a bevel node. Set the radius to control the softness of the edge. Something like 0.02 or 0.05 usually works well. Thanks for watching.